Hey everyone, it's Catherine, and this video is for all of you that have requested it. A lot of you are very uncomfortable or not quite sure how to approach interviews, and so I've developed a lot of these tips on my own, so they're not quite tried and tested, but I'm actually in a business communications class right now, and they've confirmed a lot of the things I thought about interviewing. So now, um, for those of you that don't want to pay for a college course, I'll kind of go over everything I've learned um, from a professional and all the practice I've had and tips I can give you. So this will kind of go into chronological order, but before the interview, no matter how you secure the interview, whether it's through a cover letter or through an email or through LinkedIn or whatever, you definitely want to thank the person and be very open about what time you should be there, the location, and definitely ask them what kind of attire is expected in the office. If not, you can go to the office yourself before the interview and kind of survey what the people there are dressed like, and that'll come in handy later. I probably do the bulk of the work for my interview uh, about a week before, I'll start drafting up a list of questions that they could potentially could ask me depending on the job. I'm looking at what kind of questions they would ask and of course there are a lot of stock questions that every single interviewer is going to ask you. For example, tell me about yourself. Um, that one is something you have to have canned and prepared before you go into any interview and to save this video from being 35 minutes long. I'm going to post a ton of links and helpful guides in the description box. You can all check those out and develop your own tell me about yourself pitch. I'm also going to have a bunch of sample questions in the down box in case you can't think of any on your own. You also want to be preparing your resume before the interview and bring a lot of copies with you to the interview just in case there are three interviewers or ten interviewers. You really never know. And then third, you want to prepare questions for the interviewer. So most of the times you go into an interview just trying to prepare answers, but you should also be preparing questions. So at the end of the interview, ask questions and ask challenging questions. You can ask, what's your least favorite part about this job? Or what initially appealed to you and has been confirmed as you've been here? Or what are you hoping to change about this organization? Um, so there are a bunch of questions that you can ask and I'll post a link to a bunch of them in the down bar as well. So beyond researching and preparing questions, which I think is the most most important. If you have the opportunity to research your interviewer, if you know the name of the person, um, look them up on LinkedIn, look them up on Google, look them up on the company's website if they're on there, and get to know anything about them possible. Because the more you can make this interview feel like a conversation between the two of you on a pretty common level, then making it feel like this person and you are disconnected and then you're just trying to survey some job questionnaire, that's not a lot of fun. So if you can know as much as possible about the company and the person that you're going to be interviewing with, uh, that'll make it that'll make it feel more comfortable for you because you'll have more tops you can talk about. Um, so before you leave for the interview, you want to be dressing appropriately. So I said assess the level of uh, formality at the office and dress accordingly. So if you're going to Facebook um, in Silicon Valley, no one dresses up there. If you wear a suit there, you might not even be hired just because you don't fit the corporate cult culture well. You really need to wear what everyone else is wearing or maybe like a step above it just to show that you take it seriously. Um, but if you're going into an investment banking firm in New York, you need to be wearing a super conservative suit. If it is more of a casual environment, you might want to dress business casual. I really think it can never hurt to wear like a collared shirt and a pair of slacks. Like that's really not ever a bad thing to wear in an interview um, unless it is a more formal environment. Uh, so if you need advice on business casual attire, I actually have a whole video about that. Um, I did it with a collab with Anne-Marie Chase, so I'll have that linked up here. Um, you can go ahead and check that out if you need advice for that. But in general, if it's kind of like a business casual office, you might want to just bring a blazer or a suit coat so that in case it does appear more formal, you can match that situation. So definitely be considering that before you enter the interview. It's the day of the interview and you have to show up there and you don't know what the parking situation is going to be like, you don't know how to get to the office, you don't know where the room is, so give yourself a huge chunk of, chunk of time. You don't know what traffic's going to be like, so give yourself like 45 minutes before the interview starts. And you can be sitting in the parking lot in your car or sitting in the bathroom or wherever you want, but give yourself a lot of time and don't show up to the interview room until about 15, um, maybe even 10 minutes before because you don't want to push the interviewer to feel like they have to get out to see you soon. This is something I recently learned in my business class, which I've really liked. It's power posing. There's an entire TED Talk all about it, which of course I'll link for you all. Um, and the TED Talk just explains that if you are in a powerful stance before your interview, so if you're like leaning back in a chair like this, or like have your hands up and you hold that pose for a good two minutes, it's going to be a lot effective, a lot more effective than if you're crumpled up in a chair before the interview, like scanning on your phone in a very like 
powerless stance. So the more you can psych yourself up and get your endorphins going and get your testosterone levels up, the more confident you can feel in the interview, the interviewer is gonna feel that you're a better fit for the company. Also, the second you get to the location, everyone there you should treat with respect. You don't know who is interviewing you, so you have to assume that everyone's interviewing you. So every single person you meet, whether it's the person in the elevator or the receptionist or the person that takes you into the room, be very kind and gracious and thank them a lot and just be very understanding for whatever mishaps happen um, because they can oftentimes serve those people after the interview and say, hey, give me a second opinion on this person. Were they respectful to you? Um, because it seemed like a kiss up to me, you know? There's a lot of opportunity for you to go above and beyond in your interview and outside of your interview. This is probably at the helm of my interview tips is really starting with why in your interviews. There's also TED Talk about this because TED Talks have like just taken over my life and have improved my quality of living by a long shot, but Simon Sinek developed this theory and a lot of different companies use it. Um, but in interviews, it's really helpful. And I think a lot of times in interviews, we're focusing on discussing what our volunteer experiences are like or what our job qualifications are like and how we performed our last job. Um, but what the interviewers are there to do and to assess and the questions they ask are all aimed at figuring out why you want to be there and why you're qualified and why you're a strong applicant. So every single time you're answering a question, think of the meaning of the question. If the interviewer asks something like, tell me about a time when things didn't go as planned, um, that can kind of be like an off the wall question. You might get really nervous and you might just start rambling about a time um, and experience, whether it's the place or the people around you or your boss or the situation. But they don't really want to hear about those contextual things as much as they want to hear about how you reacted to the, to the situation and ultimately why your experience there would be a good fit for their company. So how could you apply what you learned from that experience and what it was meaningful about that experience to the company? Um, and if you watch a TED Talk, it'll be a lot more apparent. Um, but just always be thinking about the root of why they asked the question and try to get the meaning and the value and kind of the moral of the story out instead of just rambling on and on about your time when you went backpacking somewhere and just talking about everything that happened to you. You want to talk about um, your impact on the situation and how you changed because of it. And again, if you want to practice this approach with questions, I'll have a lot of them linked in the down bar. Do not worry. So after they ask you all the questions, is when you'd want to ask them the questions if they open up the floor for that or if not. Um, I'm sure they would welcome it and see it as a proactive thing if you ask questions about the position. And you also definitely want to follow up once you leave the interview. So um, maybe by the end of the day, write a little thank you note, handwritten card and mail it to the person and then also send them an email uh, within the next day or so um, just to follow up and make sure they remember you um, and definitely talk about specific things you connected on and that way you can make a more memorable experience in their office. So hopefully um, I prepared you for before the interview, during the interview, and after the interview so that you can be a lot more confident if you have an interview coming up soon or maybe even in, in a year. Um, and if not, if you don't have an interview approaching in the future, try to get an interview. Try to do an informational interview with someone who has your dream job. Try to get in those situations that can prepare you because the more times you can get your, your nervousness and your practice out of the way, the better it's going to equip you for when you have a really serious interview that you feel like you haven't prepared for. So um, let me know if you have any questions below. I'll do my best to answer them. I'm no expert. I'm just a sophomore in college. Um, but I hope I did help those of you that are, are really clueless. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. And Cather out.